All right, um, so let's put some of our formalism to the test here and work out the value of an integral. Uh, so we're going from minus 2 to 5, we've got a linear function, so a reasonably simple function, so we hope that things should work out fairly well for us here, right? So we want to set up our partition. So the first thing we do is we get our delta x, right? So our delta x is going to be 5 subtract minus 2. Sorry, this should be a 3. Let's try to match the book and, you know, keep our numbers simpler while we're at it. 3 subtract minus 2 over 10. 5 over 10, which is a half, right? So we can we could write down all the points if we wanted to, right? Um, so we've got all our, our intervals, right? We go from minus 2 to minus 1.5. We go from minus 1.5 to minus 1, right? Minus 1 to minus 0 0.5, and so on. We don't need to write them all down. What we do want is we want to figure out, okay, what's the ith term, right? Xi. So we know that Xi is defined as X1 plus I minus 1 times delta X. Okay. So X1 is minus 2. I minus 1 times a half. Okay, so that's minus 2 minus a half plus I over 2. So minus 5 halves plus I over 2. Okay? All right. Now, um, if we, we want to do midpoints, right? So if we want midpoints, we need, we need the next one because we want to go halfway in between. Um, now, you might guess, and you, you can do this if you want, that we know that Xi plus 1 is X1 plus I times delta X. And you can kind of, if you want, right away say, oh, you know what, halfway between these, uh, halfway between adding at delta x i times and adding it i minus 1 times is adding it i minus a half times. So if you want to just put i minus a half in there and you'll get that midpoint straight away, you can do it like that, right? It's pretty quick. Uh, or we can say, okay, this is minus 2 plus i over 2. We want to average these, right? Well, they both have the i over 2 in there, so really we just got to get halfway between minus 2 and minus 5 over 2, right? So this is minus 2.5. So we want minus 2 and a quarter, right? So our midpoint, we're going to take ci to be xi plus xi plus 1 over 2. But rather than doing brute force, we kind of think about it. We go, oh yeah, so it's minus 2.25 plus i over 2. Or if we want to keep everything as fractions, uh, minus 9 over 4 plus i over 2. Okay, so there's our midpoint. What's next? Well, so we want to approximate this using a Riemann sum with 10 rectangles and midpoints. Right? So we've got our delta x, we've got our ci, so the next thing we need is we need f of ci. So f of ci is going to be 5ci plus 2. So it's going to be 5 times minus 9 over 4 plus i over 2 plus 2. Okay, so minus 45 over 4 plus 5 over 2i plus 2, which is 8 over 4, um, so overall minus 37 over 4 plus 5 over 2i. Okay? All right. So our integral is approximately the sum i going from 1 to 10, 
of minus 37 over 4 plus 5 over 2i times delta x, which is a half. Okay. So that's going to be minus 37 over, over 8 times the sum i going from 1 to 10 of 1 plus 5 over 4 times the sum i going from 1 to oops, 10 of i. So uh, we multiply by, we get 10 here, right? So we're going to get, um, so 10 over 8, 5 over 4, 37 times 5 over 4 plus 5 over 4 times 10 times 10 plus 1, which is 11 over 2. Okay. All right. So 1 over 4. Let's try to clean this up a little bit, right? Um, there's a quarter, there's a quarter. Um, 5. Uh, 5 and 5, let's factor out that 5 as well. And then what are we left with? Um, so here we have 5 times 11, 55 minus 37. So 55 minus 37 is going to give us what? 18. Is that right? Yeah. Add 8, 18. Okay, 18 over 4, 9 over 2, 45 over 2, or 22.5. Okay, not so bad. All right, it's a bit of work, but, but we can do it. Um, now, what's interesting here, it turns out that for linear functions, midpoints give you the exact answer, right? It's not usually the case, but in this case it is. Uh, we know what this thing looks like, right? Uh, slope 5, intercept 2, right? We get something like this. Um, so our area is, right, so the, uh, the y-intercept is going to be what? When uh, 5x plus 2 equals 0, x is going to be minus 2 over 5, right? over 5, here's minus 2, here's um, plus 3, and you can actually work out the area of these two triangles, right? So we can work out that the height here, right, f of 3 is going to be 17, right? f at minus 2 is going to be minus 8, okay? And, and so you can work this out, that the area is going to be, well, it's going to be 1 half times 17, that's the height here, times the base, which is um, 3, um, 3 plus this 2 over 5, all right? So um, 15 plus 2, so 17 over 5 subtract, and so then we're going to have one half height of 8 base of, um, so let's see, 2 is minus 10 over 5, we go back, so minus 8 over 5, right? Okay, so we get this result here. Looks a little different. Um, but I think if you play around a bit and you and you sort things out you find that you do get you do get the same answer right it looks a little bit different this time um, but feel free try to sort it out right it, it looks an awful lot different from what you got here punch it in the calculator see what you get I can't do that in my head but I'm pretty sure it works out to be the same